show this if I'm... I'm going to feel very slender on the show today. Dr. Kildare. I made my dramatic debut. Oh. <laughs> and... Must have been a big part. <laughs> yes, it was. And how would you like a smack in the mouth? Cass Elliot carried many secrets in her life, all the way from hooking up with Elvis Presley to carrying one of the greatest secrets to her grave. Nobody knew who her child's real father was. It was only years later that Elliot's bandmate Michelle Phillips discovered his identity, and it was the biggest bombshell of all. She was the breakout star of the folk rock band The Mamas and the Papas, but her onstage talent masked her tragic true story, full of unrequited love, embarrassing career blunders, secret tears, and dangerous diets. Her struggle with her self-image haunted her right until she sang her last note. With one mean myth that persists to this day, Ellen Naomi Cohen was born in Baltimore, Maryland in September 1941. Her family, who were Russian Jewish immigrants, struggled financially throughout her childhood, but despite those hardships, she always seemed destined for greatness. She had nothing if not a radiant personality and oodles of talent, but she also had her demons, even from a young age. Cass struggled with her weight and the stigma that came along with it. In high school, she found a community that allowed her talents to soar. She developed a love for theatre and performing in front of audiences. She came up with a stage name, Cass Elliot, by reportedly borrowing from the legendary actress Peggy Cass and a friend who had died. This alter ego gave her the confidence to perform, and what she did with that newfound confidence was risky. Having discovered her true talent, Cass dropped out of high school and moved to New York to pursue a career in acting. However, Broadway wasn't kind to her. After losing out on a role to the as-yet-unknown Barbara Streisand, Cass turned to singing, hoping that music wouldn't break her heart like theatre had. She was horribly wrong. Breaking out into music, Cass met with moderate success. She formed two bands between 1962 and 1964, the Big Three, and later the Mugwumps. In fact, it was while singing with the Mugwumps that she met Denny Doherty, the man that she would follow to the ends of the earth. In the first cruel twist to her romantic life, however, he became unexpectedly unavailable. Even though Cass was in love with Doherty, she ended up getting hitched to another one of her bandmates. In 1963, Cass married her Mugwumps guitarist James Hendrix. There wasn't any love between the two. The marriage was a simple arrangement to help Hendrix dodge the draft. Because her marriage was a sham, Cass knew that her only real tie to Hendrix was their band, so after eight months, the Mugwumps split up and Cass struck out on her own, hoping that Doherty would follow her. Instead, however, he joined the New Journeyman, a band that consisted of the husband and wife duo, John and Michelle Phillips. Cass was willing to do anything to get into the New Journeyman. Doherty had so far rebuffed Cass as a lover because of her weight, but he couldn't deny her talent and he knew that she was the missing ingredient in the new journeyman. But John Phillips didn't want to let Cass in the band. Apparently, he thought that her voice was too deep for his arrangements. In private, however, he was singing a different tune. Publicly, Phillips stated that Cass's voice wasn't right for the new journeyman. Behind closed doors, he was extremely critical of her appearance. Phillips believed that Cass was simply too heavy to join the group. Her already shaky confidence could barely handle the truth. Throughout her life and career, Cass faced society's unfair beauty standards. In a time that celebrated wafer-thin women like Audrey Hepburn, Cass felt that she didn't stand a chance. Despite John Phillips' repeated refusals, Cass was desperate to join the new journeyman to get closer to Doherty. According to Michelle Phillips, Cass even followed the band around everywhere they went. What they put her through was downright cruel. As she followed them around, the new journeyman treated Cass even worse than they would have treated an annoying groupie. They ordered her around, forced her to serve them drinks, and even teased her by allowing her to rehearse with them, but not perform. However, fortunately for Cass, the tables were about to turn dramatically in her favour. The new journeyman had a habit of putting good times ahead of their music, spending more money on substances than on anything else. Eventually, they ran out of money and had to turn to the only person they knew who would take them in, Cass. Desperate for a roof over their heads, they turned up at Cass's Los Angeles home and she made them an offer they couldn't refuse. When the new journeymen showed up on Cass's doorstep, she saw an opportunity to finally get what she wanted. Reportedly, Cass took advantage of the group's dire situation. Whether he liked her size or not, 
John Phillips had to agree to let Cass into the band or sleep on the streets. But there's another version of the story of how Cass came to be in the band. For years, the official story was that it was fate and not poor money management that brought Cass and the new journeyman together. According to this version of events, Cass had accompanied the new journeyman on a trip to St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands. While there, she was walking under a construction site when a pipe fell on her head. Cass was knocked off her feet, and the supposed head injury unbelievably caused her to sing in the higher register that John Phillips had been looking for. The crazy pipe to the head story was likely just Cass's way of covering up the embarrassing truth. Decades later, sources close to the band revealed that Phillips didn't want it leaking out to their fans that he had essentially fat-shamed Cass out of joining. Whatever the truth, Cass was finally in the band. After some late-night inspiration, they renamed themselves The Mamas and The Papas. Then the good times started to roll. With Cass's vocals, the band recorded huge hits like California Dreamin' and Monday Monday. But even though she was in the band, the teasing about her weight didn't stop. In fact, it got worse. John and Michelle Phillips, along with Doherty, openly mocked Cass's weight in the lyrics of their songs. For example, in the band's hit song, Creaky Alley, they wrote the lyrics, no one's getting fat except Mama Cass. The insulting lyrics struck a chord with their fans, and much to Cass's dismay, the nickname Mama Cass stuck. Then one of her bandmates crossed a line. Cass had really only joined the Mamas and the Papas because of her unrequited love for Doherty. Sadly, while Cass had been pining over him, he'd been lusting over someone else. In fact, the object of her affection had started up an affair with the object of her jealousy, Michelle Phillips. When Doherty told her that he was having an affair with Phillips, Cass was left utterly heartbroken and full of envious rage. The betrayal left her crestfallen. She lamented to Phillips, You can have any man in the world. Why take the one man I love? Even after Doherty had told Cass about the affair, she still held out hope that one day he might grow to love her. Decades later, Doherty revealed that Cass had proposed to him one night, but that he hadn't answered because he'd been too intoxicated. She buried her woes with the mamas and the papas into her music, and a dangerous amount and array of substances, which led to some wild behaviour. In 1967, Cass travelled to London ahead of her bandmates for a scheduled performance, but before long, she found herself on the wrong side of the law. The local London authorities detained Cass for having pilfered bed linens from the apartment she was staying in. There were rumours, however, that they really wanted her for something far more serious. One of Cass's many alleged lovers was a man named Pick Dawson, but she wasn't the only one interested in Dawson. So were the local authorities. In addition to possibly being Cass's lover, he was also her supplier. The authorities in London wanted to use the accusations against Cass in order to get to Dawson. She spent a whole night behind bars in London, possibly facing serious charges. However, after she appeared before the magistrate, the authorities dropped the charges against her for lack of evidence. Nevertheless, the bad press forced the band to cancel their scheduled performance. Her days with the mamas and the papas were coming to an abrupt end. With nothing but a broken heart and insulting lyrics to show for her time with the band, Cass thought about moving on. With the success of her solo recording of Dream a Little Dream of Me, Cass left the mamas and the papas and struck out on her own. Shortly after the band's breakup, she landed a major gig at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas. It was a three-week, six-figure deal that would have made Cass the breakout star from the broken-up band. Now a solo act, Cass felt the pressure to slim down more intensely than ever. Before to prepare for her big Las Vegas debut, but. she adopted a crazy crash diet. She fasted for four days a week for seven months and lost one-third of her 300 pounds. Unfortunately for her, the consequences were painful. The diet slimmed her down significantly, but in a cruel twist, it came at a terrible price to her health. In the weeks leading up to her first Las Vegas show, Cass developed acute tonsillitis, hemorrhaging vocal cords, mononucleosis, and a dangerous case of hepatitis, all thanks to her dangerous new eating habits. She was ill-prepared for what came next. Massive stars like Sammy Davis Jr., Jimi Hendrix, and Joan Baez were among the eager crowd in the audience at her debut, but a petrified Cass suffered from a severe bout of stage fright. She completely forgot her lyrics and bombed horribly. It was the worst experience of her career and her entire life. Cass's insecurities 
had overtaken her in front of the whole world. With her career in jeopardy, Cass travelled to London, where she stayed for the last three months of her life, struggling to reclaim her health and her confidence. Cass stayed in the London apartment of her friend Harry Nilsson. While she performed a series of sold-out shows at the Palladium, she had a sense of foreboding that the end was near. The evening after her final show, she attended a party hosted by Mick Jagger, where she met her untimely end. In the early hours of July 29, 1974, Cass's lifeless body was found on the floor of Nilsson's apartment by her assistant. She was just 32 years old. Immediately after her death, rumours began to swirl, and one particularly nasty theory emerged that has haunted her legacy for decades. Many people believed that her death was caused by choking on a ham sandwich, but that was horribly inaccurate. The coroner reported that she had died of a heart attack in her sleep, possibly due to the crash diets she had tried in order to slim down. There was a half-eaten sandwich in her room, but no evidence of it in her windpipe. Cass kept one more secret right to the end. In 1967, she'd given birth to a daughter, Owen Vanessa Elliott, but kept the father's identity a secret even from her own child. For decades, everyone assumed that her daughter had been fathered by a man named Chuck Day. But decades later, Michelle Phillips dropped the bombshell revelation that Cass's real baby daddy was none other than the tragic star, Ryan O'Neill. The revelation that O'Neill was Owen's real father added yet another scandalous layer to Cass's tragic and tumultuous life. Despite the chaos and the many challenges she faced, Cass Elliot left a significant legacy through her music and her enduring spirit, legacy and influence. Cass Elliot's influence on music and culture continues to resonate long after her untimely death. As a member of the Mamas and the Papas, she contributed to defining the sound of the 1960s with her powerful and soulful voice. Songs like California Dreamin' and Monday Monday remain timeless classics that continue to be celebrated and covered by new generations of artists. Her solo career, though marred by health issues and personal struggles, also showcased her unique talent. Dream a Little Dream of Me, in particular, remains one of her most beloved songs, demonstrating her ability to convey deep emotion through her vocal performances. Breaking Barriers Cass Elliot's life was marked by her defiance of societal expectations, especially regarding body image and beauty standards. In an era that often celebrated thinness, Cass stood out not just because of her weight, but because of her immense talent and charisma. She became a symbol of body positivity and self-acceptance, inspiring many who felt marginalised or judged based on their appearance. Family and personal life Cass's daughter, Owen Vanessa Elliot, has worked to keep her mother's legacy alive. Owen, who was raised primarily by her mother's friends and family after Cass's death, has spoken about the challenges of growing up with such a famous and beloved mother. Despite the difficulties, Owen has embraced her heritage and often participates in tributes and events celebrating her mother's life and music, myths and misconceptions. One of the most persistent myths about Cass Elliot's death was the rumour that she choked on a ham sandwich. This false narrative overshadowed the truth about her passing and contributed to a misrepresentation of her final moments. This myth, while sensational, did a great disservice to Cass's memory by focusing on a fabricated story rather than acknowledging the genuine challenges she faced in her life. The reality, as determined by the coroner, was that she died of a heart attack. Cass's heart attack was likely exacerbated by her extreme dieting and the pressures of her career. In her relentless pursuit to fit societal expectations and pressures from the entertainment industry, Cass had resorted to drastic measures to lose weight. Her extreme dieting, which included fasting for several days each week, significantly weakened her health. Such severe dietary restrictions can lead to malnutrition, electrolyte imbalances, and ultimately, cardiovascular strain. Moreover, the intense pressures of her career further compounded her health issues. As a prominent member of the Mamas and the Papas, and later as a solo artist, Cass Elliot was constantly in the spotlight. The expectations to maintain a certain image, deliver outstanding performances, and navigate the complexities of the music industry were immense. This kind of stress can have a profound impact on one's physical and mental well-being, often leading to severe health consequences over time. Cass Elliot's story 
is a stark reminder of the dark side of fame and the often overlooked toll it can take on artists. The entertainment industry, especially during the height of Cass's career, was notorious for its rigid standards of beauty and relentless demands. Women, in particular, faced immense pressure to conform to a specific image, often at the expense of their health. Cass, with her extraordinary talent and charisma, constantly battled these expectations. Her struggle with weight was not just a personal issue but a public spectacle, scrutinised and judged by both the media and her peers. The false narrative of Cass choking on a ham sandwich highlights the cruel irony of how society often trivialises the struggles of those in the public eye. This myth perpetuated the stereotype of Cass being defined by her weight rather than her talent. It overshadowed the significant contributions she made to music and the barriers she broke for women in the industry. By focusing on this fabricated story, the true complexity of Cass Elliot's life and the genuine challenges she faced were obscured. Understanding the truth about Cass Elliot's death allows for a more compassionate and accurate remembrance of her legacy. It's essential to acknowledge the immense pressure she was under and the impact it had on her health. Cass Elliot was a trailblazer whose voice and presence left an indelible mark on the music world. Her untimely death was a tragic end to a life filled with both extraordinary achievements and profound personal struggles. In retrospect, Cass's life and career serve as a powerful narrative about the dangers of societal expectations and the importance of mental and physical health. Her story is not just one of a talented artist, but also a cautionary tale about the pressures of fame and the lengths to which individuals may go to meet those expectations. By dispelling the myths surrounding her death and focusing on the real challenges she faced, we can honour Cass Elliot's legacy in a more meaningful and respectful way. Cass Elliot's legacy should be remembered for her immense talent, her contributions to the music industry, and her resilience in the face of overwhelming odds. Her story is a reminder of the importance of compassion and understanding for those who struggle with societal pressures and personal challenges. As we remember Cass Elliot, let us focus on her achievements and the joy her music brought to millions, rather than the unfounded rumours that sought to diminish her remarkable life. Remembering Mama Cass, Cass Elliot is remembered not only for her contributions to music, but also for her vibrant personality and her ability to connect with audiences. Her laughter, warmth and indomitable spirit made her a beloved figure in the music industry and beyond. Tributes, documentaries and biographical works continue to explore her life and career, ensuring that her legacy endures. Cultural Impact Cass's story serves as a poignant reminder of the pressures faced by women in the entertainment industry, especially those who don't fit the traditional mould of beauty. Her courage in pursuing her dreams, despite these challenges, has made her a role model for many aspiring artists. Cass faced a unique set of pressures, not only as a woman in the music industry, but also as one who defied conventional beauty standards. Her ability to rise above the superficial expectations of Hollywood and focus on her passion for music is a testament to her strength and determination. Cass Elliot, known for her warm, soulful voice and vibrant stage presence, was a beacon of authenticity in an industry often dominated by artifice. She broke through barriers with her talent and charisma, earning a place in the hearts of millions despite the industry's focus on physical appearance. Her success challenged the status quo and opened doors for future generations of female artists who might not conform to traditional beauty ideals, but possess extraordinary talent and drive. Her career with the Mamas and the Papas and her subsequent solo achievements highlight her versatility and resilience. The group's hits, such as California Dreamin' and Monday Monday, remain timeless classics, and Cass's solo work, including her hit Dream a Little Dream of Me, showcased her ability to captivate audiences with her unique voice and emotional depth. Despite facing significant personal and professional challenges, Cass Elliot continued to create music that resonated with listeners around the world. In conclusion, Cass Elliot's life was a complex tapestry of triumphs and tribulations. Her extraordinary talent, coupled with her personal struggles, paints a picture of a woman who defied the odds to leave an indelible mark on the world of music. Despite the myths and misconceptions, Cass Elliot's legacy remains one of resilience, 
inspiration, and unparalleled musical brilliance. She embodied the spirit of perseverance, proving that true artistry transcends physical appearances and societal expectations. Cass's legacy is not just her music, but also her role as a trailblazer who inspired countless individuals to pursue their dreams regardless of the obstacles. Her story resonates with many who have felt marginalized or underestimated, serving as a powerful reminder that talent and determination can overcome even the most entrenched prejudices. As we celebrate her contributions to music, it's also important to honor her for the broader impact she had on challenging norms and encouraging authenticity. Her life and career continue to inspire new generations of artists who see in her a kindred spirit, someone who faced adversity with grace and emerged victorious. Cass Elliott's journey is a testament to the fact that success is not defined by fitting into a predetermined mold, but by embracing one's unique qualities and talents. Her story encourages us to look beyond superficial judgments and appreciate the true essence of an individual's contributions. In remembering Cass Elliot, we celebrate a woman who was more than just a remarkable singer. She was a pioneer who paved the way for others to follow. Her impact on the music industry and popular culture is enduring, reminding us of the power of resilience and the importance of staying true to oneself. As we listen to her timeless songs, we are reminded of her remarkable journey and the legacy she left behind, a legacy of courage, talent, and unwavering spirit. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click this video here.